just dropped off some orders at the post office. That's right. My money maker hats, t-shirts. You a barber, you ain't got it? Hey, you better get it. It's the hottest barber apparel out there. But enough of that. Today, what I'm doing for y'all is a hot top fade. So if you need to learn how to cut a hot top fade, looking for a different method, a different technique, you just want to try something new, or you're a new barber out there, this is for you. Peep my hot top fade video. You're going to like it. And as always, well, first of all, subscribe. And as always, hit it. Okay, I'm in here doing kitchen cuts during the quarantine, and today I'm doing a high top fade. My first step, I already prepped this hair, already combed it, so I got my blade all the way up, or closed as some of you would say, and I'm going up about two inches, two, two and a half inches. Next step, I'm gonna use my number one guard lever all the way up, and I'm just gonna flick up a little bit, about a half an inch, to create the second line. Okay, I wanna move up a guard, so let's go to the one and a half. My lever is all the way up, and I'm just flicking on out. As you can see, it's starting to blend slightly, but this blend isn't good enough because we're gonna make it way better. But I'm just flicking up, I'm not pressing too hard, and just getting rid of some hair so we can start to create this magnificent fade. Okay, I went up a guard, now I'm using my two guard, my levers all the way down. Notice right here, when I'm flicking up and I'm hitting it, Notice how the, it blended. It was more bulk at first, it was darker, but as I'm going and I'm flicking up, that darkness at the top is becoming lighter because I'm going up and down my lever and I'm just flicking up and it's just starting to blend it. It's taking out that bulk. So I'm gonna to move to the bottom part of his fade. Let's take a look, see this line right here? I wanna get that line out. So I got my blade open, my lever is all the way down and I'm flicking up to the point where I eliminate that line. And then I'm gonna to move to the next step. Okay, I got that line out, so I wanna to move to the next one. My number one card is up on lever all the way up and the line that i just pointed to that's what i want to get out watch as you see as i flick up now that line is coming out the blend is starting to look good but my lever is all the way up and what i do is as you can see it's just line work i'm eliminating lines eliminating lines to the point where the blend starts to look nice and fresh I switched to no guard and this is what we call a cleanup. I'm gonna move my lever up and down and I'm basically just cleaning the bottom part. If I need to take off more hair, my lever's all the way up. If I need to take off less hair, my lever's all the way down. But anything that I see at the bottom, I want to get rid of those lines to make the fade look dope. I switched clippers because I wanted to go with a different one because every clipper does something different. And with this wall clipper, I saw a little bit of, um, right where I just hit with the comb, I saw a little bit of bulk right there. So I put that one guard on, my lever is all the way up and I'm just right here, even right there, levers up and I'm just flicking up to where I see dark spots. I'm flicking up so those dark spots can disappear. Okay, my barber eyes just saw something right there, right where I pointed, that's a no-no, we gotta get rid of that. So, number one guard, all the way up, and I'm just flicking out, getting rid of that part. See how it was dark at first, but as I flicked, it got lighter. That's what I wanna do, eliminate that dark spot. Now we look good. 
got the right side looking luxurious. Now let's move to the back. Same thing, lever all the way up and I'm just creating my ballpark. I'm going to stay consistent with my same steps. So I have my number one guard on, my levers all the way up, and I'm creating my next line. I'm going up about an inch. And one thing it's important as you're cutting hair to make sure that you comb the hair. You see how I'm combing it? You wanna keep combing the hair so it will lay down so you can get the best and the smoothest cut. Let's get rid of that bulk I just pointed at. So I put my number one and a half guard on, lever all the way down, and I'm just flicking up. See how that? bolt came out, I'm going to stay consistent and do the same step. I saw his hair was looking a little packed up, so I want to comb it out so I can get a better look. Put my two guard on levers all the way up and I'm flicking up, getting rid of that density. Now I want to move down to the mid part of the fade. So I got my one guard on and I'm going to work my lever up and down, working that middle part. So until just basically working it so the blend can start to look better. Let's get rid of this line at the bottom that I just pointed at. So I'm going to go with no guard and I'm going to move my lever up and down and I'm flicking up as you can see, just working it, working it, working it until that line starts, it comes out. Number one guard, lever all the way up, flicking out to blend. Back to no guard, same thing, flicking out, blending the bottom part. I'm gonna repeat the same steps right here. Now I'll just let y'all rock out to some music. The most important thing when doing the top, you gotta prep your client's hair, comb it out and get it to where you're ready to cut. 
All I'm doing is getting the loose ends. I don't want to go in too deep because I want to keep a flat top. I don't want him to look like a unicorn. So I'm not going in too deep. And I'm just going up, getting those loose hairs. I'm going to do that all the way around. But why he looks so serious, though? <laughs> I saw a little spot that I needed to get, and that's okay. Sometimes you just need to go back and look at your work and fix it. It's very important that you want to pick it back out and do the same steps over again because what happens is sometimes when the clients comb their hair, it looks kind of frizzy. So you want to eliminate that feeling. Pick it out again, go over it again, and you'll be good. I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. I don't need to show you guys the whole thing. You saw a little bit earlier, so let's just skip to the shape up. Okay, now the most important part when you're doing a lineup is to not push the lineup back. Stay with the natural line, make it look natural and neat, but yet nice and clean. When I do the line up across the front, I want to stay with his natural line. I'm not going to push it back, but I am going to make it look nice and neat. Sometimes barbers want to push the hairline back to make it look extra crispy. You don't have to do that, believe me. When I looked at his hair, I noticed that the left part was a little bit higher. So, hey, I'm a barber. Let me just go back and fix it. That's the thing. Don't ever be ashamed or worried that you have to go back and fix something. That's part of the game. You analyze the haircut, you look at it, you fix it, but you want to give your person the best haircut possible. There we go, a fresh hot top fade looking nice and neat. Hey man, I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And as always, y'all have a good day. Be kind to each other. Ciao!